Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to the Ceramic Repair Studio. So in today's video, as you can see, I have here a very beautiful Japanese urn. Now, I just want to show you the size. It's quite big and heavy and it's one of a pair, one of mine, I've had for quite a long time. So I've shaken the table with it. Now, it does have some rivets in it. I don't know if you can see here. And I'm actually decided to keep these in because things sometimes you just want to show its life. It doesn't ha always have to be completely perfect. And what I thought I would do today is just do a little bit of painting just around this section to just show you how I would actually hand paint something back in. Now, I have actually put it all back together a long time ago and because it was in lots of parts and pieces. And I have got some Millie put on here which you can see is slightly discolouring, but it's fine, probably from years of being in my hallway. But as I say today, we're just going to paint a little bit here. So what I'm going to do first is take some bottle tops, which I always collect. They're really useful for um, painting and putting glue and mixing up. And I've got a variety and various amounts of uh, brushes here. Some are sable, some are not, or just ordinary sort of nylon-y brushes. And I do have some paint. Now it's quite important with paint. I tend to always use the Winsor & Newton and I always use the professional range. The hue is a lot better. But sometimes I do mix it with a little bit of powder pigment. I don't see a problem in mixing them both together. I do tend to find that using an acrylic actually glides on better. If you do use a powder pigment it tends to be quite uh, have little bits in it it takes a long time to get rid of all those bits and they really have to dissolve otherwise you end up with slightly a grainy area and also a cup of water just so we can mix um, our paints and another secondary cup of water as well for our brushes and just very quickly some kitchen roll to just dry the brushes off if we're going to re, uh, use our brushes for another area. So let's get going. Now I'm going to start on I think on the slightly lighter colour here and as I say it's got a slightly sort of bluey hue here. It might actually be Jap Chinese rather than actually Japanese um, because it has that blue hue. But anyway we're going to just blend in these little bits here. So I'm just going to first of all put on my glasses slightly easier and the colours I do have I have this ultramarine deep and cerulean blue which I think might be a little bit on the yellow side but we can mix and match I'm going to add today though first of all in the light colour I've got some titanium white but because it's a slight grey colour we're obviously going to be mixing other colours with it so I'm also going to use the bottom and that is a glaze. Now this one's a Rostings glaze, I've got a tiny bit left over and I always mix it with the paint because it tends to sort of adhere better and afterwards you can do a final glaze with it as well to really lock it in. It tends to, tends to send, sort of blend everything in as well. In white and it's Windsor Newton, Newton Professional range. And we're just going to add just a little bit into our lid here. And everything I have which I'm using I will place um, in the description box down below if you need anything and that's on Amazon.com and also UK. So with this now I'm just going to add just a little bit of water with a brush. I'm using a fairly old brush when I start to uh, mix in don't like to use a sable brush and we're just mixing that in and you want it you don't want it to be too thick but you don't want it too thin either so that's the white and then we can start adding some other color into it as well so let's see I'm going to add just a tiny tiny bit of the sort of bluey gray color so I'm just going to add a little bit of this ultramarine and let's see how that goes um, and I'm going to use a cocktail stick here just so we can add a little bit 
into our pots here and it really is trial and error you just got to keep trialing pieces until you get the right hue which sometimes i've got to say it can take a while so i'm just mixing that together again add more water until you sort of see the color i do think it's got a little bit of grayness to the color as well so i may just add a little bit of black as well what you can do is once you've actually mixed up and you think well let's see what it's like just take a tiny bit of your color just add it to and as you can see it's very white so we just take that off with the fingers and we're going to add a little bit of black and the black i like to use is mars black here so again with a fresh cocktail stick just going to add a little bit of the black here and we can just keep adding and taking away as as needed so maybe not even that amount so just a tiny tiny bit in the pot there and then just give it another mix as I say this is the bit which does take quite a while see it's starting to take that and then again we can come back still very still got a bit of that quite bluey color it's still not brown enough so what we're going to do now i think we add a little bit of a brown color to it and what i have here this is a really good color yellow ochre for knocking things back as you can see it's very old probably could do with a new new one um, but it's still got a bit of paint left in it so we're just going to add a little bit again with a fresh cocktail stick, always to hand. So here we go, I've just got a bit on the end there. And this is a really great colour. I'd really recommend getting this colour. It's probably one of the most useful colours you can get. And again, this is the yellow ochre. So again, we just add a tiny bit to our cocktail stick and let's just mix that in. Right, so once we've got the colour together, we'd want to take our, our paintbrush here, and I'm using quite a small paintbrush here because it's quite small, fine work. We're just going to add a little bit to the paint onto the brush here. And then you just want to very slowly, just very lightly paint on. you want to go where the line is and you just want to very very lightly just very lightly blend it you don't want too much paint on the paintbrush just a little bit but enough to cover and then you want to almost thin it out as it's going along and then work our way just along this part here as well now you could spray this but obviously if you spray it um, with an airbrush then you are going to be spraying lots of other parts as well um, and I do realize not everybody has airbrushes and just very lightly blend it in so you can see here we've got that line now it's slowly disappearing and you just want to let let that to dry before we start the next part I'll just do a little bit more on here okay you just need a tiny bit sometimes it's more I find therapeutic rather than just always using an airbrush you want to make sure that you're not haven't got any brush marks as well so you don't want to overdo all the time keep going over keep going over when it's 
slightly drying you will start getting brush marks so you want to kind of know when to stop and just leave it and let it dry before you maybe do another coat so while we're letting that dry before we do another coat on that let's go for a slightly darker color here so now we've got this sort of pale blue in between the dark so i'm going to take another another lid here i'm going to add some white which is the titanium white and again a little bit of the blue right so now i've mixed in the blue which we're just going to blend in just a tiny bit on these pieces here and again i've mixed some nars black some titanium white and also i've added a little bit of the powder pigment into this the ultramarine deep and so let's just take our brush first make sure it's nice and clean and then we're just going to add a little bit of the paint which has also had a little bit of i've also added a little bit of the ceramic glaze to it as well so here we are and then we're just very lightly going to blend in We'll just keep going through I'm making this a little bit lighter here because we're going to add a little bit of the dark so i'm going to just add a little bit more dark color now to this as well so by adding a little bit more dark blue to so just adding a little bit more as I say, it's just trial and error to keep going through. And just very lightly where you see the pieces, which needs to be done. Just go over. And it does take time and it's very time consuming. You also need really good light as well. So try to make sure you're doing this in a really great light so you've got the sun you know literally on it obviously if you're doing it in artificial light artificial light tends to be quite orange and yellow so you can't actually get the color the right color tone that often And then just keep painting along. And just keep going over and going over and building up. And eventually it will all kind of blend in. you're happy with your little the piece you've done you want to take your glaze once it's completely dry and i like to use a fairly flat brush for this so i have a it's quite a long one quite a large one but um if you do have a thinner flat brush that's even better and i'm just adding a tiny tiny bit of the glaze and this will actually help lock it in and it kind of makes it suddenly like magic blend in with everything else so I hope you enjoyed today's video and our uh, bit of painting on this beautiful, lovely vase. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye.